forward to the class. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to hit record. Um, so stories. Stories are super important because they're very short. They are a great way to stay TOM, which is top of mind, to live on people's minds, right? You can sequence them, which means you can do multiple stories all in a row, okay? Um, back to back to back, basically. It helps establish the trust factor with your clients because people are watching you on a consistent basis. So then they begin to know you and then they begin to trust whatever you're gonna be putting on your stories. Those stories are also the great way to be raw, authentic, transparent. You get to really just kind of be yourself and you get to document like your journey. Stories are like a vlog, but it's doing a vlog without having to have a professional camera and without having to do a lot of editing and without having to you know, produce it and put music with it and make it all you know, super dynamic. The stories allows you to be able to document your life in a vlog type of environment, but without having to do a lot of the work, okay? Um, stories are an awesome way to get people to pay attention to your real estate business and just stay up to date with what you're doing. And we're gonna talk about how to take these stories um, here in a moment. Okay, um, so this is the feed versus the story. Okay, so remember the feed is your grid. The story is something that's very short lived. It only stays for 24 hours, but the Instagram feed will run down them evergreen, right? That's what it says, post stay in your profile forever. Okay, but the stories disappear. So like I said, great way to stay top of mind. People are going throughout their day. They just wanna be entertained. They're gonna click on those stories, right? Um, and stay up to date with your life as you're doing it. It's ideal for engagement for stories because your audience engages with the story right away. You can see when people are looking at it, you can um, see how many eyes have seen it. And we'll, we'll talk about all this and I'll show you. Um, the sound on, 70% of all Instagram stories are watched with sound. So like I said, this is your vlog moment. This is how you can document your life. This is when you can say things to the camera and people are going to watch and they're going to listen, okay? The good thing about Instagram stories, they are off the cuff. So a lot of people are like, well, I don't know what to say or I don't know what to do. You don't have to worry about that so much about the stories. You literally just have to be yourself and just explain whatever is going on in your own unique way that makes you different. Just literally let your personality shine. Now, your story is like your unofficial brand because your story is, you know, part of you, but it's just your daily, your day to day. It's not like your doctored up perfect um, put together movie esque Instagram feed. So be yourself. And there's lots of room for experimentation. OK, now, but your Instagram feed on the left, this is slightly different, right? This is how you want to really brand yourself and make yourself look as polished as possible but do not we're going to talk here in a minute but don't go overboard with worrying about having to look the, the so professional on your on your feed your feed really needs to follow uh, and we're going to talk about it's an 80 20 rule okay where only 20 percent of your social media content should be real estate only like it should only be your homes or only be you know, your property flyers, only 20% of your content should be that. But we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that in more detail. Okay, so the other function that we have on Instagram are your highlights. And this is what it looks like, and I'll show you in a moment on the phone. But highlights are a great thing to organize on your page because your people who follow your page or get to your page, they can easily press these highlights and they can see the best of, of what you have to offer or what you're trying to showcase and you can categorize your highlights and we'll, um, they look like this on the bottom like you can categorize them as like performance or people tips and insights q a's testimonials um, but we'll talk a little bit more but this is just really quick uh, quick rundown um next on instagram you have your igtv okay and remember we're just going over the six different components of instagram okay IGTV can be up to a 10 minute video, okay? It can be a very well put together, doctored up um, program, something that you really spent some time on because you have a, up to 10 minutes to be able to put this content up. So put effort into these types of videos. And these are also categorized on your page, okay? 
um, and then you can go live. And going live on Instagram is great. You can do it for up to four hours long. Um, you can use this to communicate directly with your audience and it'll, all your followers who follow you on your page, they get notified anytime you go live. So it's another great way of staying TOM, top of mind, because uh, we have some more people coming in the room. Because whenever you're on these social platforms and you and say you followed me, I went live. I'll show you how this all looks here in a moment. If I go live, it's going to pop up. You're going to get a notification. Daniel is going live right now. Click here to listen in, right? Oh, there's some more people coming in. Click here to listen in. So that's a great way to get to the very top of everyone's social media page when they're on Instagram. They can see, oh, such and such is going live right now, and they can decide to tune in. So it's a great way to stay um, top of mind. Remember that, top of mind. And establish that like, no trust factor by people liking your posts, um, knowing you by consistently posting and then trusting you every time that you come on social media, you have something of value to give. Okay, so what should we be posting on each aspects of these platforms? Okay, we're going to run through these six again. Now the feed, this is what I was kind of talking about a little bit earlier, the 80-20 rule. Okay, so only 20% of your Instagram content uh, feed, that part that's the grid, needs to be real estate specific. For example, just listed, just sold, open house flyers, coming soon flyers, um, things like that that you're not in the image, you're not in the picture, if you decide to not be in it. Only 20% of your Instagram should be that, okay? That specific content. You should probably never, ever um, do a just reduced flyer. If you do um, have a property that is just reduced, um, save the just reduced flyers for Facebook advertisements, because then you can advertise that property as it's like a sale or a discount but do not post that on your Instagram, okay? But you can do just sold, open houses, things like that. Um, as a realtor, highly recommend to not turn your Instagram feed into some type of home magazine. P your, your people that you're trying to communicate to, your clients, your audience, they're not gonna identify with a, a house. They're gonna identify with you as a, as a person right? So keep that in mind, okay? Don't have to be super, every single post has to be just a house or a mansion or a condo or, you know, a, a beach a beach shot or a, a photo of Brickle or downtown. Don't make it into that. People will connect with you a lot more than they'll just connect with the property. They might like the property photo because it looks pretty, but they're not going to connect and they're not going to follow and you're not going to um, start um, a following that way. Okay. So 80% needs to be your lifestyle. If 20% is strictly business, the other 80% needs to be your lifestyle, your passions, your personal family. Um, it can still be real estate related, but if you're at an open house or you're about to do an open house, don't just take a photo of the, you know, of the property and sit with a banner on the picture and say open house turn your camera around and you take a picture in front of your open house sign, right? Maybe you're putting together brochures and flyers and all this marketing content for that open house. Instead of just taking a photo of the flyer, take a photo of you in the flyer, right? Of you in this content. So remember that 80% of these uh, content you put on your social media, you need to be in the photograph. You need to be in the picture, okay? That's how people are gonna start following you, liking you and trusting you is by you being in these um, content pieces, okay? Um, next is UGC, okay? What is UGC? This is user generated content. Now, what does this mean? Another extremely fast way to start growing your following on social media is by creating user generated content an example of that and we'll show you here um uh in a moment because i'm going to log on on the phone and i'm going to talk about these different things and you can actually physically see it but user generated content for an example would be like if i was um, a realtor and i had a sign right like this 
right? Say I just closed on a property and I had some type of design sign or some cutout that I give all of my clients and I take a photo with that client and it's like a branded thing, okay? Take that picture and send it to your client, right? Give that to them so that they can post it on their page and talking about you and your business. That's user-generated content. That means somebody else posted something about you and what you did for them. That is the most powerful way to get referrals. So if you're looking how I can get more referrals, a really great way to do that is with the clients you have whenever you close or when you go to a showing or when, even when you're meeting for lunch or anything like that, take a photo with them or have them hold up some type of sign that you created or something so that whenever they post it on their social media, they talk about you. Now you're getting introduced to their audience and everyone that they know. So then you're gonna get, an e it's an easier way for you to get referrals with their people and it's for free, right? You didn't do anything except take a picture with them, right? So make sure that you, um, open yourself up a little bit and remember user generated content is a great way to grow very quickly um, on your social media. Okay, other things to post on your grid. This is the, the basic layout of your page right anything that you're networking or OTJ anything on the job if you're at the Kendall office right now, and it looks super pretty and nice. Take a photo of yourself there and post that if you're here at the Miami Beach office take a photo of that. Um, post it. If you are at a, a popular coffee shop or a popular restaurant, or maybe you're by a famous piece of architecture, or you're showing some type of condo or, or a community, take a photograph of that community, of that place, um, of that architecture, of whatever it is that you're doing, take that picture, um, and you can post that as well. So anything that has to do um, with any networking events, anything on the job, and it can be anything. Don't overthink this. It could be you coming up with a market analysis. It could be you looking up properties on the MLS. Um, it could be you just admiring, you know, a beautiful condo, but anything. You know, one of the benefits of being a realtor, especially in Miami, is that you're pretty much already popular. You're already interesting. People in other parts of the world are looking at Miami as like one of the meccas, as one of the most unique places to live in the country. And you're a realtor in this area, right? So you really have a leg up when it comes to where you're at. You know, when you, especially when you think about like, you know, maybe other states, maybe like, you know, Louisiana, Montana, Nebraska, you know, they're not as popular as Miami and South Florida or wherever you are in Florida. So keep that in mind and use that as leverage, right? So these are just things to post. And remember, 80% needs to be you in taking that photo, you at these places, you at the job, you networking at an event or a broker, to, a broker event or an agent event or a community event, anything that's just not always real estate related because you want people to like, know, and trust you. And you're going to get that by being a, a, a real person, not just some type of business professional machine, okay? So let's talk about Reels. And like we said, this is Instagram's newest feature. It's similar to TikTok, but you don't have to be dancing around and being all crazy, okay? Reels are very short videos, 15 to 30 seconds. And you could literally use these for property teasers or very quick buyer, seller, investor, quick tips. And remember, these are very short videos. So you don't have to go and talk for a long time. You can literally get right to the point. Um, I've seen agents use reels to do property teasers where literally they'll just do like a video of them walking up to a house and then just three second pan of one room, three second pan of another room, a three second pan of another room, and then just post that as a video. And if you do that on reels, instead of your actual grid, you're going to get such a larger organic reach because Instagram right now is trying to get people to use their new features. So anytime, like I said in the beginning, when you have a new feature on a platform, use that feature. And if you use that feature, they will reward you. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, use those new features. And that is one of the benefits of using reels okay um, let me go backwards sorry so yeah 
property teaser videos. You don't even have to be in those types of videos. Just literally pan, 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 upload the video real quick to Reels, not on your post, um, and you're going to get a larger organic reach. And again, buyer, seller, investors, quick tips. I want you to be fun, energetic, in and out. You don't have to stay for a long time with the Reels. Okay, Instagram stories. These are important because it gives people the ability to build that connection with you because these stories, again, is like a vlog where you just kind of just, you know, be yourself and show that you're on the, on the job. You're at a networking event. You're at a community event. You know, you, you're somewhere doing something. So put it on your story and it lives only 24 hours. And it's a great way to stay top of mind great way to stay transparent um but you have to do stories is like documenting your day-to-day -day, um and you should do that every single day that's like a super easy one to do every day just post something to your story um but that that one if out of all of them you should be implementing and staying consistent with um at least once a day it's that's like the easiest post to do but remember don't overthink it when it comes to it just you know and i'll show you how to get to stories and how to access them and use them but it's it's like documentation of your day-to-day -day life okay um highlights okay we're going to talk about highlights um, i'm going to show you them where they're at but highlights again remember these are like you know the best of you and you can categorize them on your page um i recommend that you create a tab for each one of these highlights being a realtor okay you should have a sold just listed your testimonials, um, maybe communities if you're a realtor who does community work or maybe condos if you do a lot of rentals um, or whatever neighborhood that you're farming, choose that area, okay? Um, and then one for passion hobbies, but you're literally going to just input, um, and I'll show you how to do all this, input your stories into each one of these categories so that when someone goes to see your post, it's all categorized for you, okay? It's just a great way to organize your page to make it look look uh, good. Um, IGTV, again, these are one to 10 minute videos. Now these are gonna be city property or community tours, okay? Like actual tours, maybe you go to um, a new community, you know, uh, construction and they have like those model homes. This would be a great time to go on um, IGTV or, or create a video or even on your live, which is next, of you just going through that tour and just talking to people as you're, as you're going through the tour um, because it's gonna be a longer form video. You're not gonna wanna put that necessarily on your page because remember that grid is um, one, zero to one minutes. Um, these can go up to 10. So these need to be like event highlights, brokerage events, uh, agent events, any monthly market updates, Anything you post to your, if you have a YouTube channel, you should refurbish that video and put it on to your IGTV. Your IGTV is like your own TV station, your own TV network, okay? Where you can create episodes and you can organize it and they all live in its own area on your page. And I'm gonna walk you through them and show them to you so you understand them. Um, and then the last component of Instagram is live, okay? And going live literally means that you're live where your phone becomes literally a broadcasting camera and anyone can tune in and see what you're seeing and hear what you're hearing. Um, and remember, when, when you go live, you can have, it, it, it shows you on your page, such and such is going live right now. And it's, so you're always gonna be living at the top of somebody's profile. So it's a great way to make sure eyes are always staying on you. Um, you can use, lives as a way to have a q a session with your audience um since you can be going live for up to four hours you could you know if you're at the office all day you could go on live and just answer questions or ask people you know instantaneously hey do you have a question about real estate i can answer hey do you want to know what the best condos are do you want to know what the best housing community is do you want to know what contract i just learned how to fill or do you want to know what i just learned in a particular course or class i just took you can just stay on live and just literally talk to people um, instantly and you can um great it's a great tool to use and it's a way to like like we're talking about um staying top of mind um and you can use live 
to do a coverage of any community event, a festival, and to just show what's going on around you. Okay, uh, frequency of your posts. So I know this sounds like a lot. Um, it's, it's like, whoa, like, how do I have all these categories and how am I supposed to, you know, maintain all these? Like I said in the beginning, you don't have to worry about posting to each one every single day. You know, that shouldn't be your goal. But most studies agree that once per day, at least, is optimal with a maximum of two posts per day. Okay, so if you can commit yourself to at least one post a day, one of those, whether it's a post to your page or a reel um, or you go live or something, if you can just do one of those a day, then you're going to be putting yourself ahead than someone who's doing it once a week or once every few days. So at least something once a day. Um, a website who did this did a study, they found that pages with under 10,000 followers experienced a 50% drop in engagement per post if they posted more than once a day, okay? So that should give you a little bit of confidence to know that you don't have to be posting all day long with so much content all the time. You can literally just make it once per day, but as long as you're being consistent with it, it's gonna benefit you, okay? Um, so the feed and the reels, that's what we talked about in the beginning, those are the first two categories. You should post those at least two to three times a week. So if you only have to make one post a day, maybe you do, you know, one reel on Monday, another reel on Thursday, and you're done for the week with reels, right? And then you just do one post um, on Monday to your page or Tuesday, and then maybe you skip every other day or however you want to structure it. Um, so don't feel overwhelmed and think you have to do so much. You can just do a little bit every day. Um, when you create a reel, um, you do have the option to post that to your page also. So that could knock out two birds with one stone, right? Where you post, you make a reel, you post it to your reels and you promote it on your page, boom. You just did, you know, you just did two posts. You, you could be done for the day. Um, stories, you wanna be doing daily though, um, because it's so simple, it's so easy and it's such a great way to stay top of mind with people. Um, and then IGTV and IG Live, you wanna do this whenever the situation arises. So it's not a mandatory thing. It's like whenever you're at a festival or whenever you're at a community event, or if there's a time where you just have, you know, you're sitting on a bus or you're sitting on a train and you have time to kill, hop on live. You, everyone who follows you will get notified that you're going live. So remember you're staying top of mind for people. Um, and that is uh, the last component of Instagram. Okay, so if you want, to start having nice content to promote yourself online, I recommend very strongly to use canva.com. Um, we use this um, pretty frequently and I know a, they have literally um, templates that you can use for free um, if you just use their website. So like, let me uh, continue to share my screen and I'll show you what, I'm, what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to go back to share my screen. Okay, great. So this is canva.com. Um, everyone can see my screen. Give me a little head nod. I know everyone's muted right now. Um, but here you can literally at the very homepage of canva.com, they have all these different um, types of flyers that you can create templates that you can use and you can literally type in realtor artwork or something you know, or just realtor probably and they're going to have a lot of templates that you literally you can just find one that you like click and then just click and drag your photo or click and type any type of content that you'd like to do and they have thousands of templates maybe you had uh you have an open house right and, and you want something uniquely made you can click open house and all these are templates where literally you drag your own picture over. Uh, and it's very, very simple. Um, and if you like uh, maybe like realtor um, templates. All right, now we have um, templates that are 
about you. You know, you can put your photo here and put your content together. And it's very, very simple. So that way you can start making your Instagram look a little bit more clean cut, a little bit more um, polished, then I would def definitely recommend using canva.com uh, to do so. Cool. Um, and that was the end of the actual presentation part, but now I want to um, actually log on with my phone and walk you through Instagram and show you guys um, literally kind of um, how all these functions work and how to access them, okay? If anyone has any questions, please feel free to use the chat um, if you do have any questions at all. So let me go ahead and log in through my phone to Zoom. And they come got some over join. All right. Now I'm going to say no audio so that way people cannot hear me. And I'm going to share my screen. Start broadcast. I'm going to stop this video here. Okay. Cool. So um, I believe everyone should see my phone. Um, if you can attune you, if you can see my phone, would you mind just giving me a quick head nod? Or can someone unmute themselves? Uh, Ashley, can you see my phone screen? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Okay, so this is Instagram. Okay, and I'm gonna show you where everything is where I was talking about. So this is our grid, right? This is the base, like the very basic part of Instagram. This is what you doctor up to look as polished and clean as you like. As you can see, we have different promotional pieces, we have some videos, but it looks you know, pretty consistent color scheme wise. Um, you see like a lot of similar style posts and it just looks very clean, uh, well put together, right? Well, if I slide over to the left, See how I just slid it over to the left and you see how I'm switching categories now? Now I'm in the IGTV section. Remember, this is the uh, sections of the video where you can categorize different beautifully put together content pieces um, all and they can live all in one place. So this is your IGTV section, right? And see how it is accessible. So a lot of people were like, oh, Instagram is just this. Well. Yes, it is, but there's more to it and you just got to swipe over to see it, okay? Um, and then if you swipe over one more time, now you're going to see any content that anybody has ever tagged you in, okay? So this is stuff that people actually said, mentioned at your, your Instagram name. This is where you can find it. Or if people ever um, tagged you to an actual picture, this is where you can find all content that um, has your a tag in it. So if you want to know if anyone's tagging you, you can just click on this third icon and you can see all that. Okay. Um, now highlights. Okay. This gentleman, his name is Mike Sherrard. Um, you should look at him on YouTube. That's where I got a lot of information to share with you um, in this presentation. But his highlights are right here across the top. This is what I'm moving right here. So remember when I told you highlights is something that um, you can find easily accessible and it's like you decide what to put in there and anyone can click on it and see. So like if you had uh, properties, right, I would put listings as one of these. If you had, uh, if you did a lot of rentals, maybe you put condo rentals in one. Um, maybe one's about, you know, maybe you're in interested in art or you, you, and you can say my art or maybe you like to read books. You can say books right? You're just categorizing yourself into these different sections. And when people click on them, um, it's going to take them to whatever that category is that is about whatever you're talking about, right? Um, another thing I wanted to uh, just show you. So if you click on his speaking highlights, right? Um, it has a nice little icon and he just, or this is all simple to do. And I'll show you, he's just organizing his content. So now if you tap through all this stuff, all of these posts are posts of him speaking, right? That's why he has it categorized under speaking. 
So then you would, uh, maybe you had open house for yours. Maybe you had, you know, whatever it is that you want to organize. And then as you tap through, you're seeing here a bunch of UGC, what we talked about earlier, user generated content. That means, look, he's not taking this video of himself speaking. Someone else is taking this video for him, right? And so other people are posting him and now he's getting attacked or attached to their audience. So this was this is an example of user generated content where somebody else made a post about you and tagged you. That's so powerful because now they're introducing you to their audience. Okay. But this is your highlights right here. So we talked about highlights. These are your highlights. Um, I'm going to go to one of our agents pages sold by Nicole. Uh, she does a really good job with her social media. Um, if you go over here, are her IGTV videos, she just has a couple. And look, they're not anything crazy. It's probably just her talking and giving real estate knowledge. Um, oh, actually, I'm sorry. These are her reels. This is the IGTV. And as you can see, these are a little bit more doctored up. Um, these are a little bit more put together. But the reels are not as much. And as you can see, one of them got over almost a thousand views and it's not doctored up and that's because she used reels and like we said earlier reels can can get you very quick organic reach really really fast so you know something to consider um but then here's her igtv right and you can see everything is categorized and it says like are you ambitious or are you driven that's probably what she's talking about right she's talking about future home buyer tips right she's talking about south florida should you sell your home Right? It all has categories. So when you make IGTV videos, you can go ahead and categorize them, put them here. So that way when people look at your content, they say, oh, okay, I can know about this. So I can learn about that all through your IGTV. And remember, Reels is a little bit more fun, a little bit more relaxed. See how it doesn't have category on it? Like, like these have categories. Here it doesn't have anything. So this is Reels, right? This is how you can get that organic reach by utilizing Reels making short videos, but your IGTV can be categorized into different series and you can talk about whatever topic and organize your content that way. And then we can go and look at any content that she was tagged in. Okay, remember earlier we talked about having that postage, having that sign so other people can post content of you. This is kind of what we're talking about. So this is a marketing tool that Sold by Nicole uses, right? So anytime she has a just close, she takes a photo with this giant key and takes a picture with the person who purchased it. And now this person is going to post that picture of them and it's going to have all your information on it. So now whenever this woman posts her photograph on their social media, everyone's going to see your info, right? Maybe you don't do a key. Maybe you do something else, you know, but this is exactly what I was talking about earlier, how you can have other people make content about you and that's called UGC okay um, now if we go back to her page I want you to keep in mind she's a professional realtor and she's a top producing realtor she you know she's been killing it especially this last year um, look at her page right it has a nice photo of her um, her name her title what she does real estate um, she's a realtor real estate investor notary London Foster Realty um, a link to her link tree. Um, everyone should create one of these. It's absolutely free. It's called a link tree. And it's a way for you to organize any of your links of your websites or your social medias where you can put whatever link you want to whatever website that you run or any social media you manage. And anyone can click on any of these different uh, tabs and take them straight there. So that's always a great thing to put in your bio. Um, but she has our office as her location. Um, and then as we look at her page, right, it's, it's really pretty. It looks nice. It's doctored up. There's color. Um, there's property houses or property photos, I'm sorry, that look really cool. But it's not just only property photos, right? There's also photos of her, photos of her and a client. And look, title now, they have one of these UGC content pieces. So whenever someone else posts this photo, title nows you know getting in the in front of the eyes of whoever is looking at these posts right um she's not just showing off you know her just least um 
uh, property, but she's also showing off herself. She is pregnant right now. She is about to have a, a baby soon, but just showing that you can show your life as well as the property. It's not just always something to do about your real estate. It can be a motivational quote, right? It can be a small little um, templated ad. And all these templates just like this are on Canva.com. You can easily create things like this, right? She has buyer tips that she typed out. And again, a lot of these layouts that look just like this can be found on Canva or easily created for free online, right? So, it's, and then here we go again, you know, her with another, showing off her key, you know, really basic. It doesn't have to be doctored up, beautiful and pretty. Take a photo with your client, right? So these are just examples um, of different things to use, but these are the different tools on Instagram. Again, this is your feed. Right. And then if we wanted to watch her story, uh, we just click on her face in the top left corner. And we just click through. Right. That's how you look at people's stories. All right. So if we go to London Foster's account, we have the highlights here. I should definitely add some more. But if you click on training, it's going to take you to all of our trainings that we've ever made videos with on our stories. Right. So anyone who wanted to look at our social media, they could go straight to the trainings tab and they can see all these different trainings that we did. All right, it's categorized. If they want to know about our agents, we can tap through and it has a lot of our agent profiles here, right? If they want to know some of our super listings, they can tap through, they can see the listings. So organize for yourself your highlights, okay? And you're going to ask, how can I organize my highlights? How do I do that? How do I do that? Well, how you do that is you just go to your story, post, like this, this is uh, our story, and then you would just save it. So you just hit save, okay? Um, or you can hit send to, and you can send it to anybody if you wanted to, but you would save it. Once you save it, you would, um, you would then click on new, And then you choose whatever story that you have saved. So we have all these stories saved. So then we would just choose, you know, whatever photo. Uh, this is a marketing workshop, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And you see how it turned it into that icon, right? And then I would name this highlight marketing training. It's too long, doesn't fit. So let me put something else. Let me put um, LF marketing right and say you hit add and you can edit the cover you can drag it however you want to do it right so um, once you hit done add now we have that new highlight was just created see how it just showed up right there and now if they click on it they're going to see this workshop okay but then you can go and add any new highlight into there by going to your story add, share to, oops, add, I'm sorry, save, save story. And then you can add it to your highlights, okay? Um, other thing that's great about stories is also, you can just swipe up when you go to them and you can see who is looking at your content. Right. So if you know who's watching and maybe I don't know who Sarah is, Sarah's watching me, though. So Sarah might be interested in London Foster. Right. So I'll go to Sarah's page, click on it. And now I see who she is. She's a dog mom. She's a realtor. OK, so let's go ahead and follow her back. Right. Um, who is um, Nash Real Estate Miami? So he's a realtor in Miami. He works for EXP. He's following my content. I can see him watching me. Okay, so now you have the ability to go and contact this person and have a potential lead. Now I have a potential recruit if I want to go and try to recruit him to join London Foster. Right? So if this was your real estate page and you're posting videos about your properties or you're posting videos, you know, or, you know, a video or you're doing anything like that on your story, you can swipe up and you can see who's watching your content. Then you can 
introduce yourself to them. You can talk to them. You can open up the dialogue for communication. Maybe, you know, so, and, and then say, for example, um, uh, these are these are a lot of our agents here. Um, okay, who's not our, okay, Cody. I don't know who Cody is. You go to Cody, uh, you can send him a direct message and you can say, hey, Cody, thanks for checking us out. Are you a realtor here in South Florida? Boom. And now I just made a contact with somebody who's, who, who I know is probably going to see my message because they're watching the content, right? So I hope, I hope that kind of like, you know, starts sparking a little ideas uh, in, uh, you know, for you. Maybe it opens up a little something in your mind to kind of, you know, think about why you do these things, right? It's, it's social media is not just, you know, oh, let me just post up. You can leverage your social media and really connect and talk with people, you know, to, to better your business, okay? So um, now if I wanted to like, edit the highlight, all I do is hold my finger on it. I can delete it. I can copy it as a link, right? So then you can even copy a highlight link, wow. You can copy a link and now I have a link. I could send that to somebody and they would click on that link and it would take them straight to this. Okay. So you could also um, uh, delete it. You can edit the highlight. And then now you can add those stories that we saved. Right. So let's just say now, you know, we, we put this in there, put this in there, hit done. Okay. So now when you go to the marketing, you see how it has whatever we added in there. Okay, and then you can see who watched it, which is like crucial, right? How awesome is that? And then if you make a mistake and you need to get rid of it, just hit delete highlight and it's gone. Cool. And remember you get to your highlights by posting to your story and you post your story just by going to your homepage, swipe over, now, you're, now this is a story. Right. And a story could literally be anything. It could literally be me turning the camera and saying, uh, oh, I can't do a video while I'm while I'm live uh, streaming. But I could literally do a video like, hey, good afternoon. My name is Daniel. I'm here at this awesome London Foster training. I hope to see you at the next one. And then that's it. Something simple. Or maybe I'm eating lunch and I'd be like, mm, this hamburger tastes so great. But I really want lobster. You know, anything. It could be anything silly. It could be anything goofy. It could be anything fun. Let's go click on a couple of our realtors who just posted to their story. And you see, this is other people's stories across the top. This is how you stay uh, top of mind during the day, right? So here's one of our agents right here, Jesus Castro. This isn't real estate related. It's just him showing, showing where he's at, you know? He's in, in the woods somewhere, there with his family. Looks like he's on a trip. You know, <laughs> having a good time. You know, this is what you post to your story. It doesn't have to be perfect all the time. Let's go to one of our other realtors here. Demetrio, he's posting something about real estate. Okay, cool. Let's look at Didi. Didi's posting something about real estate, something else about real estate, but she's not posting about herself, right? I'm not connecting with her as a person, but she is, you know, promoting something on her story. Very simple. All right. Um, let's look at another one of our realtors. Another one of our realtors. She's showing off these hats that she has. All right. So again, it, like I said, it can be anything. You know. So don't get too worried about your stories. Like literally, just document your life. Have fun with it. Um, again. We have our feed. We talked about our feed, right? This is what needs to be doctored up, looking nice, et cetera, et cetera. We talk, talked about highlights, which are across the top here, right? We talked about IGTV, which are these. Remember, they have the categories. So every time you make a video, you can categorize it so people can easily access it. Uh, we talked about um, reels. Okay, if you wanted to see reels, reels is right here, the second one over. 
remember reels is a great way to get quick organic um quick organic uh, views and eyes on your page like the grass to mile group these guys do an awesome job with the social media they're always having a good time and you know they do a lot of they they were our top producers the last two years but as you can see they have a lot of pictures of homes right showings etc but then they also have pictures with their clients right and then they have a lot of like little silly things that they do they do a good job with their with their marketing and then they do little videos which aren't even you know they're not even they're not him showing a home it's them just being silly with each other you know you don't have to be so doctored up and professional all the time hi hi how are you doing Hey, this is Damien, your favorite South Florida realtor with the Grass Tamaya Group at London Foster. And today we are hosting a... Awesome. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to think too much about it. It doesn't have to be perfect all the time. Highlights are here. If you go click on this story right there in their name. And it's just them showing what they're up to, you know? Documenting the process as they're doing it. Real simple. Then you can set up at the top of your tab, you know, it says right here, you know, learn about them. Make sure your bio is filled out, your name, top producers, South Florida realtors, you know, building relationships, keep them happy, their website, all right? You can message them directly. You can contact them, their phone, their email. Make sure your whole profile, your bio is set up. Just like how we try to set you up when you join London Foster uh, and we try to set you up with that agent profile, set up your profiles, right? And then we have the different highlights here, these three. They only have three of them. But you click open house, this is going to be all, you know, whatever they posted for the open house. You know, um, G2G news, grass to mile group news, right? TikTok fun. All right, it's all videos of just TikTok. So your highlights are here to categorize the best parts that you want to show. And then they have their IGTV. As you can see, they have their own little series going on. Everything's listed. So Keep that in mind, you know, I hope this kind of like helps you a little bit, sheds a little bit more light on Instagram, um, on, on what's actually capable of doing. Um, I want to do another training soon, um, just about Instagram ads, so I can uh, show you guys about promotions. Um, but if you do ever want to promote anything, um, you know, I want you to know that, you know, one of the cool things, they'll suggest uh, promotions for you. Like, for, for example, this post right here, They'll tell you this post is doing better than 95% of your recent posts. So you can actually get insights on your posts, right? You can see how many people you reach. You can see where they saw your content from. You know, you can get kind of some analytics to help kind of like help you shape and target your marketing, right? This other post here, this uh, it tells you is doing better than 95% of your recent posts. You should promote it to get a, a wider audience. Um, and if you have your business account set up, you can easily do promotions uh, just by clicking the promote button okay it's going to ask you what is your goal for this promotion is it to get profile visits if you have your own website to get more website visits and then you would enter in whatever website you you want um, with the action button right um, or if you're trying to get people to message you more i would always just do profile visits or website visits and then you hit next um now, one of the things I talked about during the Facebook ads, if you, if you weren't able to make it, is that we do a lot of housing, right? We're dealing with real estate. So unless, unless you can create your content to not look like a real estate promotion, um, then you can get specific on your targeting. But since we are doing housing, we have to do a special requirement. You have to, or else it's gonna get declined and it's gonna be just a waste of time. So you would have to go here and hit housing and done. And then um, you can create new audience and, and categorize your audience. But I already have a, a lot of different categories. So I would just say South Florida and hit next. And then it'll ask you what your budget is that you want to spend, right? It's real simple. You say seven days and then maybe you want to spend, um, you know, $10 a day. You want to spend 70 bucks this week on your own Instagram promotion, right? Um, then you hit next. And then um, you, would, you would choose. So review your promotion. So I chose um, that listing that we have of that home so you can preview it. Now, if you want to preview it on your feed, this is what it's going to look like on people's feeds. 
So as you go on Instagram, it's going to say visit their Instagram profile. Right. And it's going to look like that. So when people are scrolling, they're going to see that they could click that Instagram profile and it's going to take them to our page. Um, how is it going to look on stories? It'll, it'll show you what it's going to look like. You just got to hit stories. Let it load up. I think my internet's going slow. And now it's showing you what that is going to look like on stories. Right. And now I'm thinking, hmm, I might want to fix this, edit it because it's not showing the full image right? Like how I want to. So maybe I don't want to promote this because now I saw what it's going to look like and it doesn't look as good as I want it to. So if you were going to fix that, you'd have to do it through Facebook. But that's just an example to kind of just show you um, what, I'm, what I'm talking about. Um, once you picked your audience, you have your picture that you want to promote. You have the website that you chose you want to send it to. You just pay and then boom, you start creating a promotion. Um, once your promotion is done, you'll get analytics that that literally tell you, you know, how much you spent, um, how many people saw it, where what was the area that was most seen, um, et cetera, et cetera. But I'll, I'll do a separate training about Instagram ads later. Um, but that's pretty much it that I want to kind of talk about when it comes to your Instagram. You know, like set up your bio, um, make sure everything is put together correctly, make sure you have your contact information um, all there. And then um, remember, the grid is to stay polished. The Instagram stories is where you can go and see who interacts with your content. Now you can actually reach out to these people because now they're a lead, right? Through your stories, you don't have to be doctored up all the time. Remember you have IGTVs, which are your categorized long videos. They can be up to 10 minutes long, right? This is where you can really sit down and talk with your audience, create a piece about, you know, anything, real estate specific. Um, remember that we have reels too. So sold by Nicole, she just has only two reels, but she has some. Um, remember that they don't have to be too much. You're gonna get a much quick, uh, bigger reach because they want you to use the new program. So remember that, you know, if you're gonna use um, the new programs, you're gonna get a lot more reach. This is a guy that I use to uh, get a lot of information about uh, social media for realtors. You go to his reels, like this is his main grid. Then you go to his reels, 14,000 views, 12,000 views. You know, it's pretty high up there. But if you go to his IGTV, look, only 2.8K views, 700 views, 1,000 views. You know, he's not 400 views. He's not even consistently breaking his 2,000. Look, all these just have 200 views. That's it. That's not, that's not a lot. So, you know, when you see like these people who are online and it looks like they're killing it and they're getting all these crazy views, they're, they're not doing that much, really. They're just utilizing the, uh, the new features. Like this video of his, only 69 views, but if you go to his reels, they're all 5K and above, right? Utilizing that new feature, reels, because it allows you to do that quicker organic search. Yes, he has a purple Lamborghini, and so he's gonna get a little bit more, but it doesn't have to be a purple Lamborghini for you. It can be the beach. It can be a condo. It can be your open house. It can be, a, you know, anything, right? Um, so yeah, we talked about IGTV. We talked about reels. We talked about your feed. We talked about stories. You click on stories. You know, he's a realtor. He's, he, he's showing you, you know, some of his lifestyle, so cigars and alcohol. Then he's showing you about his uh, realtor videos, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. I hope that kind of opens up your mind a little bit. I'm going to look at the questions that we have here. Um, and I'm going to unmute. Feel free to unmute yourself now and ask any questions. But we have, do you have to get permission to other agents advertising their listings? Do other agents complain about them promoting their properties? Thank you. Okay. Um, so yes, you do have to get permission uh, to promote other agents' listings. Um, I would say, yes, you do have to get permission. Um, and some agents don't like it because I know that some agents, you know, it, it depends. Some agents love it because they're like more eyes, the better, you know, and other agents kind of don't like it so much because they feel like they're kind of, um, I don't know a better way to say this, but like pimping out their, their listing, you know what I mean? Like it's not meant for everybody to see type, type vibe they might give you. But just kind of contact that realtor and ask them, hey, you know, I saw your 
Um, I saw your listing on the MLS. I want to promote it. You know, I, I'm going to do this and that with it. Um, you know, is that okay with you? I, you know, always ask. If you're unsure, always ask. I see one of your realtors promoting her hats. Do you need permission from London Foster to promote my Brazilian men's swimwear and apparel business, as long as it's not offensive? I will finally be returning my MBA team to market both real estate. Uh, okay, so yeah, when it comes to um, marketing your own businesses, you can definitely do that. Um, London Foster does not require you to, to change your lifestyle or to change your other ventures. Uh, because you're l listing your um, license with us. Um, and if, if it's appropriate, as long as it's appropriate, that's fine. You know, um, we understand that, you know, I think you, you, you're you not, you're, you're independent contractors, right? So you're able to, you know, market yourself how you want to market. As long as everything is legal, um, we can't stop you. On the MLS, there's action to use OK to advertise. Yes, there is. On the MLS, there is something that you can do. You're correct um, to OK to advertise. Yes, if that if you see that that's already selected, um, then yes, go ahead and advertise. But then I would also just go ahead and text that realtor or email them and just let them know what you're doing anyway. So then that way you start to you start building a relationship with other people, um, if that makes sense at all. You know rather than just kind of doing something, you know, on your own, at least you're opening it up to actually have that type of relationship. So thank you. Excellent presentation. Oh man, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Does anyone else have questions? Feel free to unmute yourself um, and ask anything you like. Best trainer ever. <laughs> thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. But yeah, um, also guys, you know, I'm here to help you as much as possible. Um, so feel free to reach out, email me, um, give me a call or text. I'm going to put my email here in the chat room. Um, that's my phone number and my email. Feel free to reach out to me if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, um, anything I can help you with. I'm, you know, I want to make myself more available to you folks. So feel free to reach out. Thank you for your time. Um, other than that, I hope you all have a great day. And if there aren't any questions, um, I'm just here for you folks. So, oh, Liliana, um, I know that you came in um, a little late. Sorry, I didn't see you trying to get in. I was already halfway through the presentation. So if you do have any questions, let me know. Uh, Myrna, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. And was that more helpful, like seeing like, the Instagram itself, um, maybe it was, I hope it was um, a little bit more convenient, easier. Excuse me one second. Oh, it's okay. Listen, um, do you remember Mike and Dia? So excuse me, guys, I do have a phone call.